Hi, I'm Mark Sacco, and as you could see, I'm here with a Mitsutoy Quick Vision Active Machine, and I'm going to explain how the pattern tool works. What is pattern tool? It's a tool that allows the camera to see if a stored pattern is present within the field of view. So let's get into it. For this example, I'm going to use this triangular shape as the pattern that I'm going to search for. So when using pattern tool, the very first step is to define what the pattern is. So to do that, I'm going to go up to File, New, and Pattern, but notice the pattern is grayed out, and that is because when we're in record mode, we cannot define a new pattern. So first, I have to exit record mode, and the easiest way to do that is to click on Prepare. That now leaves record mode. Now if I go up to File, New, Pattern, you notice the pattern is now active, and I can click on it. When I do so, I get the Create Pattern window, now I simply draw a box around the pattern that I want to search for. I could resize this box to just incorporate, just include the pattern that I'm looking for. Click OK. Now I've defined a pattern, but now I have to save it as a file. So to do that, next I could go to File, Save or Save As, Pattern. The File Save window opens, and we will call this pattern How To. I'll click Save. I want to overwrite it, yes. And now that I've done that, I could actually search for the pattern. So back in my QVPAC part program, I could click reset. That gets me back into record mode. And to search for the pattern, I could click on the point. And in my toolbar, I want to select my pattern search tool. Then I could place the tool on the screen by drawing a box. I want to make it about the size of the field of view so that I could search as much of the field of view as I can to search for the pattern. If I click Edit, I could change various settings for my Pattern Search tool. First, I could click Open Pattern so I could tell QVPAC which pattern am I searching for. If I click How To, notice that it shows me the image of the pattern as I saved it. When I click Open, that's now the pattern that QVPAC is going to be searching for. I also have choices of accuracy and search speed. Accuracy can be low, medium, and high. Search speed can be low, medium, and high. Typically, you want to use the defaults of low accuracy and high speed. Search region, X and Y is the center of the pattern search tool. Width and height are the width and height of the pattern search tool, all in pixels. Maximum number of occurrences is the maximum number of patterns that I could find within a single tool. In this case, we only have one pattern that we're looking for, so I'm going to leave this at a value of one. Search angle, is the angle of the pattern that I'm looking for. In other words, if start and stop are both at zero, that means I will not find a pattern if it's rotated at all relative to the stored pattern as it is in the file. Acceptance threshold and certainty threshold are advanced settings that are too advanced for this how-to video. However, the short version is the lower the thresholds, the more accepting the pattern search tool is of finding patterns to the point where the tool might pick up patterns that don't actually exist. And conversely, increasing the thresholds could result in the pattern search tool failing to see patterns that are in the field of view. For now, I'll leave these values on the default. I'll click OK. And then when I click Run, the pattern search tool runs and notice that it located the pattern and placed a point right in the center of the stored pattern image. So that's how the pattern tool works. For other how-to videos or for any other Mitsutoya questions, please go to mitsutoya.com.